trying to be responsible and stuff now because of my dad and everything. So Try, trying to recycle loads. Well, I feel I don't enjoy it. I know you meant to say that you love recycling. I don't really. I miss the good old days when you just whazzed it in a big bin. <laughs> like my granddad does. My granddad's watching my 94 year old granddad recycle. He just doesn't. He couldn't give a fuck about recycling. <laughs> he's not worried about recycling. He's just trying to still live. That's what he's doing. Mm, what about the future? He's just trying to see October. That's what he's trying to do. <laughs> he's got one bin and it's for everything cardboard, plastic, glass, paintings car tyres, he just wasps it all in, <laughs> medical waste, wraps it up, burns it, old school rules. I hate, I hate the glass bit of recycling, because every time it gets emptied out at the front of our street on recycling day, I feel like such a fucking alcoholic <laughs> as all the glass cascades out of the bin, and it makes fucking smashing glass sounds at 7.30 in the morning, and you think the whole street's like, fucking hell, they really drink at number 29, don't they? Like... And you're trying to stand out like, bloody hell, Laura, we're going to have to stop eating so much jam and marmalade. <laughs> it's all the jam and marmalade. <laughs> She's like Paddington Bear. <laughs> oh, my kidneys hurt. <laughs> Parents now, though, two, we've got a two and a half year old toddler, man. We're fucking nails now, me and my wife. When she's our first, when she was born, we were such wusses. When you've got a kid and you're, the first time you're a parent, you're like, oh, every cough, you've got the monitor really up high. And you're like, oh, my God, every cough or a little fart. You're like, oh, my God, something's happened. And both of you are running upstairs crying like, oh, my God, is she all right? She could be joking. I don't know. Is it Ebola? It could be the Ebola virus. I don't know what Ebola sounds like. I know I'm scaring her. She's scaring me. You're, like, you're, you're such fucking wusses. Two and a half years in, we're like grizzled veterans now. We're so fucking hard. I would love to know what sound we'd have to hear through that monitor to get both of us running up the stairs. It would have to be pretty, pretty fucking serious. At two and a half years into being a parent, we could clearly hear through the monitor, Mummy and Daddy, there's a man coming in through the window. And I swear, either me and my wife would be like, whoa, 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 whoa. Let's see if she settles. She's supervised. <laughs> Good. That, that resonated here way too much. That, that actually, because I wrote that to be funny to people, but you enjoyed that so much that I'm genuinely worried about you as parents. Like, I, I wrote it as a joke, but you were like, oh, yeah! because people do come in and you don't move. <laughs> Amazing.